Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Uh, let's solve this one another problem from Engineering Statics by Hepler. The problem says that determine the force in members B, E, E, F and C, B. So we are required to determine the force in this B, E member, this E, F member and this C, B member. And we are required to state if the members are in tension or compression. So we will solve this particular problem by using the method of sections. So so we will pass a cutting section through these three members in which we are required to determine the forces. And then uh, we have the choice to select uh, uh, this part of the uh, this part of the truss or this part of this truss, right? So I am going to consider the upper part of the cutting section uh, since the, uh, we do not need to determine the support forces right since when we are when we are going to consider this top part so in the top part there is no need to uh, determine the reaction forces right so to avoid the determination of the reaction forces i am going to consider the upper part of this cutting section so if we pass a cutting section like this then we will have this as a free body diagram and this will be our point b and this will be our point f right and similarly uh, if I draw those forces, so we will assume that uh, all these members are in tension, right? So if they are in tension, so their forces will be acting away from their respective joints. So this will be CB force and this will be uh, BE force, this is BE and this will be EF force. And all these forces are acting away from their respective giants. So initially we are assuming that uh, these three uh, members are in tension. So if I apply the summation of moment about point E equals to zero since the truss is in equilibrium. So as we can see that the line of action of this BE force is passing through that point E and the line of action of this EF force is passing through that point E and the line of action of this 5 kN force is passing through that point E and similarly the line of action of this 10 kN force is passing through that point E so these four forces will not come into our equation they are not producing the moment about that point E so only this CB uh, member force and this 5 kN force is producing the moment about that point E so, and let's assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that this CB force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point E. So I will write CB and the moment arm of this CB from that point E is 4 meters, right? Since this distance is 4. So I will multiply it with 4 and similarly this 5 kN force is producing the clockwise moment about that point E. So I will write minus 5. And the moment arm of this 5 kN force from that point E is 4 meters. So I will multiply it with 4 and this will be equal to 0. If I bring this to the other side of equation, so it will become positive and 4 will, uh, 4 will be cancelled out. So we will be left with CB equals to plus 5 kN. So the plus sign means that the assumed direction is accurate. The force in CB member is 5 kN and since it is positive so the assumed direction is accurate so this means that that is the tension force. So CB member uh, is in tension and the magnitude of that tension is 5 kN. Now if I apply the summation of moment about point B equals to 0 and let's assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive. So again as we can see that this the line of action of this BE is passing through this point B and the line of action of this CB is passing through that point B. So both of these will not come into our equation. So as we can see that uh, this EF is producing the clockwise moment about that point B. So I will write EF and the perpendicular distance of this EF force from that point B is 4 meters. So I will multiply it with 4. Similarly, this uh, 5 kN force is producing the clockwise moment about that point B. Uh, and this EF is producing the clockwise moment, so I have to write minus here. 5 kN force is producing the clockwise moment, so we will write minus 5. The moment arm of this 5 kN force from that point B is 4 meter as well, so we will multiply it with 4. Uh, this 5 kN force is producing the clockwise moment, so again I will write minus 5. And the moment arm of this 5 kN force from that point B is this 4 
and this distance is also for this is given, right? So eight meter is the moment arm of this five kilonewton force from the eight point B. So I will multiply it with eight. And similarly, this 10 kilonewton force is producing the clockwise moment about the eight point B. So I will write minus 10. And the moment arm of this force from the eight point B is four meters. So I will multiply it with four. And this is equal to zero. So if I bring this EF term to the other side of equation, so it will become positive. So it will be EF into 4. And if I multiply this whole equation by 4, then we will be able to find that EF. So if so, this is minus 5 fours are 20, this is 5 eights are 40, and minus uh, 10 fours are 40 divided by 4. So this is minus 100 divided by 4, this is 40, this is minus 25 kilonewton and EF. So since we have this negative sign, so this means that the, uh, the assumed direction is not accurate, the EF member is in compression and its magnitude is 25 kilonewton. Now to find the magnitude of this uh, BE member force. So we can apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So for that we need to resolve this BE member it, into its component. So this BE member is making uh, some angle theta. So as we can see that uh, this length is 4 and this length is 4. So this means that if we apply 10 theta, so 10 theta uh, will be equal to 4 divided by 4. So if we take 10 inverse, so both the sides are equal. So this means that the angle is 45 degree, right? So this is the right angle triangle. So this angle is 45. So this means that this angle is also 45. So now if I resolve uh, this BE uh, force into its components, so it will have two components. This will be one of its components and it will have one component which will be acting vertically downward. So this is the cos component. This is BE cos of 45 degrees. So now if we apply the summation of forces along x, so as we can see that this component is acting in the negative x if this is my positive x and y direction. So we can write that minus BE cos of 45 degrees and this 10 kilonewton force is acting in the positive x, so I will write plus 10. This 5 kilonewton force is acting in the positive x, so I will write plus 5 and this will be equal to 0. Or from this we can say that BE cos of 45 equals to minus 10 and minus 5 so that will become minus 15 and if I divide both sides by minus will cancel out as well so 15 divided by cos of 45 so 15 divided by cos of 45 gives us 21.21. So BE magnitude is 21.21 kilonewton. And since we got this as a positive sign, so this means that the assumed direction of BE is accurate. So this means that that particular member is in tension. So this is the solution of this particular problem. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems.